Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I've got uh, another product in from obviously Amazon and it is right here, a couple of bread loaf pans. And uh, as you can see, these are a little bit longer than the ones that you usually would get at the store. Uh, that is because uh, I wanted to get ones that were more like the ones you buy at the store when you get the uh, bagged bread. I want to uh, have bread for sandwich making, essentially. You know, make my lunches and stuff like that with or whatever. And uh, that way I've got lots of slices going all the way across instead of just little short loaves. Um, now, as you can see here, this is by Good Cook, uh, everyday nonstick. Now, these are uh, steel pans. They are not aluminum. Um, I do stay away from aluminum as much as I can. And uh, these are 13 inches by 5 inches. So usually they're 9.5 by 5 or 5.5, or maybe like an 8.5 by 4.5. Uh, so that's the kind of size difference. As you can see, these are very much the size of a standard loaf of bread, be it one of the name brands um, that you could get out there. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward as to what it is. Um, it has some decent reviews on Amazon and everything. And uh, they do talk a little bit about what you should do. They say you should, of course, wash it when you get it. Um, the normal idea is, okay, well, you use pot holders when you're picking it up. And, you know, kind of the basics of any kind of cookware, bakeware, anything like that. You need to be careful because, of course, it will get hot. Uh, again, this was two of them together, and uh, the price was pretty reasonable. Uh, it does have the nonstick coating on it. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a loaf of bread, see what one turns out. Hopefully I can uh, get my measurements right, and I uh, get a really nice looking loaf out of one of these. All right, guys, so I just put this in there. You can see the dough in there. I got it stretched out for the full length of the pan. I've got a little bit of ice there to create some steam. I'll take some of that out later, make it uh, nice and fluffy and whatnot. And uh, I'm cooking it at uh, 350 degrees. So uh, we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Hopefully everything rises properly and uh, we'll get a really nice looking loaf. All right, so let's see about this. Uh, gotta pull it out. And here we go. So it is not super hot, but that is because of the recipe that I used. This is um, essentially a light wheat. crust on it so as you can see um, it's not real dark it's a little bit darker maybe than what is showing on the camera here I'm gonna go ahead and spread a little bit of butter over top of that to soak in but uh, very nice um, it can still make some nice sandwiches granted it is not you know real high and up over the top looking like you know a store-bought store-bought loaf but this was not Again, the type of recipe for that. So uh, pan works nicely, works uh, just like it was intended. But uh, there we go. Uh, first loaf with the uh, pan. And there is another video that will include this same loaf here soon. So uh, you may want to keep your eye out for that. If you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. There will be a link to this on the Amazon site. Uh, of course, while you're down there, I do have my social media links down there as well as the, uh, the PayPal and Venmo stuff. If you want to uh, donate to the channel, definitely helps out a lot. And while you're down there or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and ring that little bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.